Good morning everybody. It's been, I don't know, four weeks or more since I've been out fishing. So judging by the weather forecast, this was going to be the best opportunity. It was supposed to not be windy over here, but it is pretty breezy. It's supposed to warm up. It's almost freezing temperature right now and there's still quite a bit of freezing ice. So I'm just going to walk up a mile or so and uh, check out a couple other pools and give the ice a chance to melt up and hopefully maybe things will warm up a little bit. I've got three new rods I'm going to try today or at least one of them and hopefully we can see if they uh, bend properly. Stick around should be a good day. All right everybody so I walked up a lot further than I was planning on. It was probably 45 minutes to an hour but uh, still some floating ice but we'll have to deal with it. So this is my first go with the uh, Wasatch Tenkara Tea Hunter. And uh, I've got it at its longest length. I've got a Dragon Tail Nodachi nymphing line on it. It's uh, 16 feet. And the Trout Hunter is, uh, or Tea Hunter is 15 feet at its longest length. So it's a little bit longer. I've got a a double fly rig to start with. I've got actually a squirmy wormy on the upper fly and a tungsten surveyor on the bottom. Not real heavy flies, but they're both bead heads. The uh, wind isn't too awfully bad right now. The water isn't as deep here in this hole. I've only been here one other time. And that was during the summer and I did really well in this hole, but with all the flooding and everything and low water here in the winter, I, it's not as deep as I thought it was. So I'm not super optimistic in this spot. It's a long flat glide here, but it's just not. Oh, geez, the fish jumped at it. I was gonna say there's, it's not, uh, not a lot of features to it. I was just dragging that line out of the water to recast. See if I can talk him into going after it again here. Well, that was interesting. I wasn't <laughs> anticipating that. This tea hunter is the 7-3 flavor. Very capable rod. It's big and beefy, not super light, but the, uh, you know, it's an enjoyable flex. First time I've fished it, whenever I'm using a big beefy rod like this, I like to hold up high on the grip and kind of rest the bottom of the, of the handle on my forearm. Keep me, keeping my elbow in just to kind of reduce fatigue. It also helps if you do hook a fish that you have a couple different points of contact on the rod and your arm so you have better leverage. All right, so I'm just on my way back to the car and look what I just hooked finally. All right, so after walking for an hour one way, I didn't catch a dang thing. And then I come back to the one of the first holes right before the car, make about two casts and catch a nice rainbow. And as soon as I turned my camera on, the battery died. <laughs> so let's see if we can catch another one. I just have a single fly on now. The water isn't all that deep and the fight with that fish tangled things up. So I decided just to simplify things. I just have the tungsten surveyor on. So that was the first fish of 2023 for me. And the first fish on this, any Wasatch Tinkara rod for me. The T Hunter being the first here.
There we go. Ooh. Oh, that was a nice brown. There's one. What do we got? White fish. After losing a nice brown. Oh, don't you know it? That bead is too big for my release tool. Finally got into some fish at least. All right, I think I'm gonna catch a couple more right here. Right now. Oh, lost it. Dang it. Looked like a whitey. Just kind of lost my balance on the rock and didn't keep tension on the line. There we go. gonna net it from this rock. <laughs> Looks like a little rainbow. Come on. Come on. It's tangled up. Oh, come on. Untangle. There we go. Oh, it's a little brown. Nice. Where's my net? Ah, there we go. There we go. Well, now we're at least getting into a couple fish.
There we go. Ooh, did another tip bounce because I was afraid of yanking it into the trees. Ooh, come on. Oh, that's a, that's a nice little brown. Wasn't ready to come in, but I grabbed the line since it was there. Colorful little guy. There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay. Well, I said I was going to catch a couple here, and I just did. Well, sorry about that. I didn't catch many fish today. There was a half a dozen or so, but but I did want to do a quick gear review on three items that are new to me that I hadn't used before. The first is this little gadget, and this is from Dragon Tail. Actually, all three of these things are from Dragon Tail, but it's a little magnetic holder on a little mini carabiner, and I, I don't know what, what prompted me to get it, but I did, and I really like it. I put it on the front of my chest pack, and numerous times when I had tangles or changing flies, or I could see in the summertime when you're drying flies, but it's a really strong magnet, and that thing will hold those flies on. There's no way those those are coming off. I, I had left those two flies on, and you can see the, the flies I was using, the tungsten surveyor and that uh, UV yarn body. But it uh, it it's really pretty cool. I'm gonna get one for each one of my packs. Um, so when I'm changing flies all the time, rather than putting them in my mouth or holding them or dropping them or trying to break, you know, needing to break out the box, I could see putting a half a dozen flies on this thing that I plan on using and you know won't need to dig into the fly box so that's one item I thought that was pretty cool the other uh, item is actually this Nirvana small stream net um, you can see it's really cool wood it's very lightweight rubberized net um, but it's uh, it's very neat I have it on a, a little quick release uh, gear keeper on the back of my pack so I just kind of drag it along behind me at the back of my legs it swivels there but it just it fits well it's it's you know very functional ergonomic design I guess um, comfortable for for getting the fish so this is actually the exact same net that uh, Dragon Tail is donating for the anniversary giveaway so if you want one of these as well uh, still time to join uh, or sign up for that the last item here, and you can't, uh, won't fit in the whole picture, but this is just a neoprene uh, changing mat. Um, you know, I've always used, whether it's car mats or uh, the little folding deal on uh, from a big duffel bag, or just sitting on a dirty bumper or um, tailgate, but this is actually pretty nifty. It's, it's super light, has these straps that are already built onto it, so you just roll it up and, and strap it, but Keeps you keeps your uh, socks clean and your waders clean, but pretty neat. I'll just throw it in the back of my car and use it as necessary. But those were three items that I thought uh, were different. I've reviewed a lot of Dragon Tail uh, rods and such, but not a lot of their miscellaneous gear. So um, the T Hunter, by the way, is a beast. It's a big rod. It's a heavy rod. Those fish today didn't do any justice for what that rod is capable of but I, I just wanted to try it, hadn't hadn't used it yet. I was using it at the longest length the whole time and I should have shortened it up there towards the end, um, but I, quite frankly, I forgot to. Um, but uh, I, I can tell it's gonna be a fun rod. I mean, those fish, I could have just winched them in and tossed them up on the bank. Uh, it just That rod just feels that sturdy. So I'm looking forward to doing a more thorough review and, and putting it to the test, but um, that's a typical, tough winter fishing day here on a freestone river so good or bad but it's real may not be the most exciting day of fishing that i that i'll have this year but it was the first fish of the year so that makes it worthwhile should be really good in another month or two so stick around and we'll catch you later